Okay. <clears throat> so I just wanted to quickly um, talk about what just happened. Uh, I just went to McDonald's and I'm the only person in line, so I'm just looking at the menu. And the cashier comes up and says, hi, welcome to McDonald's. And I'm like, hi. And I'm like, give me a minute. I'm just going to look at the menu. She's in front of me. Here's where the drive through window is and, you know, getting the food ready. Why is there six black females? Actually, five. There's one black guy. Why do they feel the need to stand there and just look at me like this? And you know how you're looking ahead or up and you can feel like their energy or the like you could just feel their glare? And one particular girl is just standing there like with how dare you walk in with your hair like that. Like seriously, like just stare. And my issue and plus there was the guy there, and he just, while he was getting the food ready, just kept looking back over his shoulder, acting like he was looking at something else, but he was really just glancing at me like this, and I'm like, wow. How can six black people sit there and stare at me for, for not being whatever image or stereotype that they want me to be? And that's what's crazy to me, that they have the nerve to just stand and stare. And here's the thing, I, I'm, I always go to that particular McDonald's. And the thing about those women is, like, one particular female always, always, always stares. And the funny thing about weave is, at some point, you have to take the weave out. At some point, with relaxers, you're not always going to be able to get your hair done or relax. And we've all been there, like... We took out our weave and we need to go get a perm or a relaxer, but the hairdresser wasn't available or you just didn't have the money or the time to get your hair done. So there's always that awkward moment when you go to work and your hair is not relaxed or you don't have the weave in your hair. So what do you do? You put, probably put it in a ponytail or whatever. The thing about this particular female is she always has a bunch of weave in, and she's always, like, looking at my, when I do twists, I'm so braided out. She always looks at me weird or just, like, sizes me up and down. It's five of them, but this particular one feels the need to, whenever I walk in, to stare like I'm crazy. And have this sort of ego, like, she's the shit because she has a weave in. But this particular moment, she did not have her hair done. She did not have a weave in. She did not have her rasher in. So her hair was in... A ponytail, you know when you have that new growth? So she had the new growth, the ponytail, and, and you know those girls who have like this much hair in the ponytail? She had a very little hair. And that is funny to me. I'm not making fun of her hair length, I'm not making whatever. My thing is, when people or females feel powerful, when they have weaving, as if they're more beautiful than anyone, they're more powerful, like they're just better because they have the weave in. And it's funny how weave and relaxers give people a sense of confidence, but what happens when you don't have the weave? Like what would happen if they no longer made relaxers or weaves were just banned? What are you going to do when, when it's not there anymore? And that's funny to me because when she didn't have the weave in, she was all quiet, she just was just focused on her work. But then the following day when she gets the weave back in, she, she, you can, I don't even know this female, but you can see by her demeanor, like she felt like, I'm put together with the weave in. I'm the stuff with the weave in. But the day before when you didn't have all those things, how did you feel? So the way you felt without the weave, you want to make me feel. The, that's the look you're going to give me. And that's what's funny to me. And you talked about how you went to um, Bush Gardens, I think, and two females were laughing, which is why I entered this contest, is yesterday, I promise you, I was in the grocery store with my mom, and I'm walking back and forth in the aisles, 
and these two girls, and you know how people just snicker or go to the side? No. They just sit there next to their car, and they just burst out laughing. Ha like, like obnoxious laughing, you know, when you're just so loud, and you just look so stupid. And I guess they felt like laughing that loud. Either A, they wanted to get my attention, or B, they're just hood rats. I think it's C, a combination of both. And they clearly wanted my attention because no matter what aisle I went to, they were there and they would laugh even louder. But they don't get it. They look stupid. Because everyone else was looking like, why are they laughing so loud? Looking at them because they look stupid. They look like the hood rats. There's nothing wrong with me. Because I, whenever I'm around other races, I never get... A funny look. I never get the side eye. I never get the obnoxious laughing. I never get any of that. When I went to McDonald's and I was walking past um, the drive-thru to get into McDonald's, a woman lowered her window, stuck her head out, and said, I think your hair is gorgeous. And this is going to be a long rant, but that's what's really shocking to me. It's like when a white person can say, my hair looks pretty, but... In, another black person they don't get it like how is my hair confusing when your hair is the same way it may not be the same texture or whatever but you, your hair looks like mine so what I don't understand the laughing the side eye the stupid comments and I may even lie my, my family does this too because um, when we were at the grocery store one of the employees at the grocery store was like Oh, your hair is so pretty. And then my mom was like, no, it's not. And that happens a lot. If someone of a different race lets me know that my natural hair looks nice or they think it's cool, another black person don't get it. They try to look and see, hmm, what does that person see that's so pretty or so cool? And that's what's shocking to me, that other black people have to be convinced by a white person or another race to see that my, there's nothing wrong with my natural hair. And there's nothing wrong with weeds, relaxers, this is a wig because I'm deep conditioning, but I'll, I'll post the video. It's the need to like, and I know people are going to say it goes back to slavery or Eurocentric features, but that white female, that other white female say my hair is nice and you're just lost and confused and you're black and you're just confused as if you never saw natural hair and granted most I never saw my natural hair until now until I was growing it out but for that's just ridiculous that sometimes like black people feel the need to let me know that I look different or there's something about my hair that's like whoa like I don't know that's my entry. Thanks for watching.